welcome back to another Trend Mood Box unboxing. This one was another one of those Nabla takeovers. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, there's one product. I did peek because I wanted to see which color I got. Because there was one for light skin tones and one for dark skin tones. But you didn't get to choose. It was just luck of the draw. I sadly got the one that's way too dark for me. So trying to figure out who I can bestow it upon, but that was the Body Glow by Nabla. Body highlighter really sucks because it was a really big product and from what I can tell a very spendy one. Would have liked the one I could have used, but alas, when I show you this you'll understand that ain't my skin tone. <laughs> so yeah, that for me is literally, even with a tan, that's never gonna cut it for me. But that's unfortunate because it's a very beautiful shade. Would have loved to have been able to use it, but I can't. And I really don't know very many people with a dark enough skin tone who might actually want this locally. I'm like, wow, it's a glass bottle, so I kind of don't dare mail it because I think it might break. Yeah, it's very limiting options there, so I don't know. <laughs> like, that's too dark even for my mom, so I don't know. But anyway. We also got this Nabla Viper Lip Plumper, which, I mean, it's got a cool box on it, up to two hours effect, hot to be hot, Viper Lip Plumper increases lip volume in a few minutes, a blend of patented raw materials in natural origin functional ingredients, uh, caffeine, capsaicin, ginger, menthol, vitamin B3, and tripeptide 1 provides immediate and long-term plumping with an emollient, antioxidant, and nourishing action. Warnings! You may experience a temporary sensation of heat and a slightly intense tingle. For use on lips only, if any discomfort appears, remove and discontinue use. Keep away from children. Well, yeah, no kidding. That It's kind of part of using a lip plumper that goes along with it. Oh, there's the ingredients. I was like, where is the ingredients list on this? But okay, it is on there. <laughs> so I was like, if there's no ingredients, I'm not comfy with it. But there is, so I'm alright. But yeah, it's, um... Ooh, fun. Alright. So, kind of cool packaging on it. I'm hoping it's, like, this cool red shade. I don't want to waste it. And apparently it's a liquid. So if I roll it up... I'm not doing it right now, so it's got an interesting, like, vanilla mint type smell there, so I'm like, ooh, fun, alright, alright, we'll play with that sometime. There's also these three Cupid's Arrow full color stylos, which they're like multi-use liners. I'm not sure what else you would use these liners with, but I guess for me I'm going to use them as eyeliners. So, we've got one that's in, does it give a color name? Just arrow number six. Well, basically, it's navy blue. It's navy blue. It's a nice chubby stick on it, like so. Careful. I'm, like, trying so hard, like, do not F it up. And it's one that's got, like, a little turn wheel at the bottom, so as you use it, just de -de 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 -de. boom, you're good to go. We also have this one in arrow number seven. It's kind of a kind of a dark brown. Uh, actually, more of a medium brown, but I don't usually do brown liners, so. Let's see how it looks, but I'm a little, a little skeptical about that shade. I was more intrigued by the blue, because I like blues, but... And then we have this lighter brown in arrow number five. Yeah, this one's going to be a way light. That's, ah, it's kind of a tan, like a medium tan. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but again, I might be able to get some interesting looks out of it. It may just look weird to me because I don't really use that shade, therefore I'm not- I haven't played around with what looks good in that color, so maybe if I play with it, I'll find some stuff that looks good. 
but the real stars of the show and why I really bought into this set are the palettes because of course I did. So we have the cutie palette in analog and another one in midnight. These apparently are brand new, just hit the market. And they're so pretty. So freaking pretty. Look at them. Look at that. They're so sparkly. Like, oh my god. I am so excited to play with those two sparkly ones in the middle, especially. Man. <laughs> like, those are gonna be fun to play with. But even more exciting than that one is the other one, the Midnight Palette. It's all blue, so I'm like, yes, bring it. So this one. Let me show you these. Oh my god, they're so pretty. They're so effing pretty, especially that guy and this guy, really. But like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So, all this stuff was for 44 bucks on Trend Mood. I don't know if this set is sold out currently or not. Normally their boxes sell out in a matter of minutes, but I've found with the Nobla sets, they kind of hang around for a bit. So, not quite sure what all's up with that, but it just seems to be the way it goes. But yeah, so that's what I got this time. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you'd like my do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time.